Hello and finally welcome back to another episode of overhauling this classic diesel marine engine. Today, the aftercooler. If the boat is still in the water, start with closing the seawater inlet valve to avoid flooding. Then inspect the drainage valve under the aftercooler. If it's undamaged, you can drain the aftercooler by opening this valve. If it's damaged or corroded, I would leave it alone. Using too much force on this valve could damage the copper insert and resulting in a very costly repair or even replacement. Lift out the copper insert, use a plier and bite on the insert lip if needed. If all you want to do is to clean the inlet, you could do this now and reassemble the unit afterwards. If you also want to clean or replace the housing, continue with removing the housing from the engine block. Inspect the insert. The state of the side which the air flow through can tell you a lot about the state of your turbo. Some oily residue is normal, but if it's almost blocked by this residue, this can mean that your turbo is leaking oil through its bearings. More on the turbo in a later episode. Clean the seawater side of the insert first. Use the water and vinegar mixture from the first episode and leave overnight. The air side is cleaned by using an oil dissolvent agent or simply using diesel fuel. Let the unit soak in diesel for a few hours and then rinse it thoroughly in soap water. Now you should be ready to assemble the unit. Start by cleaning the engine body intake and apply new seal. Attach the housing to the engine body. Replace the rubber seal inside the housing. This is to make sure that no air travels directly into the engine but passes through the insert. Replace the first seal and the drain plug seal before carefully installing the insert.
now you can replace the upper seal and if the drain plug is damaged or corroded I would replace this as well. Be careful not to over tighten it as it can damage the insert. Now replace the rubber seal in the lid and attach the housing. Finally, attach the two hoses and the air pipe from the turbo and you are ready to go.